And I'm like, wait, is the cover burning? Is the cover baking? The cover was baking. It was a whole situation. I had to turn the oven off and clean up the baked cover out of the oven. Hello you guys, so I just got home from work and I'm very excited because tomorrow is my day off so what I want to do is, this is the aim to jump in the shower, wash my hair, so hopefully when you guys see me again it's going to be in two braids because I'm going to wash it and normally after I wash it that's how it looks. So I want to wash my hair, put it in two braids and then I want to come and show you guys these things that I just bought at Marshalls, not Marshalls, I'm Burlington. Such a cute throw. Maybe I should show you guys now since I'm already here. So I bought this very cute throw and it ended up being $9.99. And me and my friend Jalissa, or Jalisa, <laughs> that's an inside joke. We were looking together and I picked a different one and then she said, what color is your couch? And I said gray and she chose this one and I feel like she made a great choice. So shout out to you Jalisa for this choice. So love that. And then I got these, um kitchen towels the other day I was at Marshall's and I was gonna buy some and I didn't bother because I wasn't really feeling them like that and I didn't want to get ones that were red or whatever you know Christmas themed because I want to be able to have them out year round I don't want to have to put up that stuff too when the Christmas season is over so these I can use all year and then I got two um workout leggings and i'm really hoping that they can actually fit me because like i told you guys i'm gonna start working out i got these in burlington and obviously as you guys can see this one was 8.99 and this one was 10.99 and i think i will go in there when i have more time because the prices that they were in there for is cheaper than i have seen anywhere else not fashion nova not shein nowhere else shein i've seen some for like 15 dollars and like with a little discount maybe it'll go down to like 12 or so but, or not even that much, like 13, 14 with a load of discount because Sheen does not give you like a massive, massive discount or anything. But I feel like when I go on Shein to buy something, I just feel forced to buy other little knickknacks, whether it be to get the free shipping or whatever the case is. So I'm going to go back in there another evening, maybe Wednesday. Today is Monday. Maybe Wednesday evening I'll go back in there and see if I can find like two more because I already have... um a few workout leggings but those are super super cheap so i might go back in there and see if i see like two just two more those are black and i have another black one a gray one i think i threw the gray one away the other day because i don't even know why but i just have a few that are like dark color but i think i might just end up sticking to the black just because like i feel like when you're working out and like you're sweating like in the crotch area you're gonna be able to see it's gonna be wet like once you're done with the workout and the black will kind of disguise that a little bit more so I feel like that's one of the reasons why I want to stick to the black but I absolutely love those and I'm gonna try it on and in this bag here I just got a few little knickknacks like I got uh, more face shield because a few people at my job asked me why well, I feel like I didn't get oh this is two yeah, then. a few people at my job asked me and um I bought three of this I gave my friend one and um I bought some hair because I have a closure and I want to make a bob wig. So I just bought some straight hair to go with the closure that I already have. So that's what we have going on. I don't know when I'm actually going to make this wig. Maybe tomorrow because I'm not really in the mood right now. Plus I'm going to wash my hair. And hair takes a little minute to, I mean, since it's straightened, it's not going to take that long to wash but um i'm gonna wash my hair and shower and stuff i don't think i'm gonna be in the mood when i'm done but that is what i wanted to pop in and show you guys but i'm actually gonna jump in the shower before it's too late or before it gets too late well hi guys look a little crazy you know but washed my hair like i told you guys i would i have it in this microfiber towel wrap thingy that i got from the dollar tree for just a dollar and look what i decided to do Bought some here because I've been on the hunt for the perfect bob wig and I decided to start making the wig. Obviously, I'm more than halfway done, but I don't think I'm going to finish this tonight. One, because I feel like right now I feel a little bit tired, like my eyes are kind of closing on me. So I feel like I'm going to clean up here, stop where I am, and then continue this tomorrow. 
along with I want to get my nails done tomorrow. If I don't get anything else done tomorrow, we're going to do my nails. Okay? Okay. I also want to cook tomorrow. I think I'm going to make some chicken. Maybe I'll make some big chicken. Because the oven is finally open. It was closed for so many weeks. Not even closed. Locked. Literally locked where you can't. Ugh, such a situation. Anyways, I'm able... The oven is open, so I think I might bake some chicken tomorrow. I don't know. I really have to wake up tomorrow and see what mood I'm in. But I feel like I'm going to go to bed kind of tired. Even though it's almost 11 o'clock, obviously you guys can tell that I'm sleeping. But um, I feel like I, I really did a lot. The fact that I came home and washed my hair and stuff, that is one thing I knew that I wanted to get done tonight. Because I don't want to have to do it tomorrow. Tomorrow should be the day where I'm figuring out what I'm doing with my hair. And making this wig should help me figure that out. Because when I'm done making the wig, I can try it on to see if that's going to be my little bob wig that I want to be wearing or not. It is going to be like a blunt cut bob like one that I had before. I'm really, really hoping that I like it when I'm done making it. Because I had a bob before and my mom took it away. And I've been trying everything to not buy that same bob again. And I'm not even sure why. The other day, I bought... <laughs> see... It costed me twice so much money, and the money that I paid twice, I could have just used and bought the bob and just be done. I wouldn't have to put in put in any manual labor of making the wig, because I would have just gotten one that really worked for me. So I'm really hoping this will work. Oh. And if it doesn't, it's going to be a Christmas gift. So um, there's that. But I feel like I'm going to pop into the bed, so I'll see you guys tomorrow. So Hi guys, it's my day off. Literally wearing the same pajamas. Judge me if you want. I really don't care because we do this all the time. We all do. Anyways, so I decided that I wanted to braid my hair down to wear the wigs. I wasn't sure what I was going to do with my hair last night when I washed my hair, but I now decided that I'm going to braid my hair down and wear my wigs. So this is where we're at so far. So I'm going to do three more on this side. The timer on the oven because I'm baking chicken is going off. So I need to go and check on that and make sure that they're good. I'm making some barbecue chicken. So... Love that. The baking container that I got, I had bought it from Target. Anyways, I don't know why I felt like I needed to put the rubber cover on in the oven until I smelt it. Smoking? And I'm like, wait, is the cover burning? Is the cover baking? The cover was baking. It was a whole situation. I had to turn the oven off and clean up the baked cover out of the oven and do the whole process all over again. And this was already... 20 minutes into the bake such a whole situation and so now we're here and it's done pretty much done baking here the oven going off again and i'm braiding my hair to wear my wigs and i will come back because this she's not gonna stop guys this is what it's looking like and it tastes so good but it's so spicy and um we're jamaicans so love that but really really good i feel like i might have to go to the store tomorrow i don't know how i'm gonna get to do that tomorrow because i literally work tomorrow until 7 45 so probably gonna have to go straight out there on the bus and then oh so annoying oh so annoying but i feel like that's done i can really turn the oven off because that's really done at this point so let me do that oh i wanted to show you guys something oh my gosh i feel like now that i'm um i bought oh i showed you guys that i bought those so that's what they look like and i have this yellow one on there too but obviously i'm using it to hold my baking container and i need to put the runner that i have for like the christmas season on here i've been burning this candle for a few hours now and she's doing good and i also have this one going inside here so yeah i'm just here finishing up my hair Hi guys so i just got done braiding back my hair and i stitched them up in the back right there so that i'm able to just put my wigs on and then i don't have to like think about or deal with the hair in the back now these braids are gonna have to last me i want to say four weeks the last time that i had them in for maybe i'll keep them in for three weeks and then take them out wash my hair and braid it back down depending on really how i feel because the last time why i had even kept them in for so long was because i was so like the day when it was like two weeks it looked fine and i'm gonna try to like tie them down at nights this time but the day of the third week when it was time to wash it you guys i had one day off that week and i was so tired so i'm just like I, I can't i can't so i decided that it was only right that i bring back the wigs this time it's only in black this one is a glueless it just looks like it's on and but literally a glueless because this one when i made it i made it with the exact measurements of my head this one along with another one the hair that i used to make this is 
very very nice hair like silky straight hair and i think it looks a little bit thin but i also don't like when the hair is too thick because i feel like it looks a little unnatural i mean everybody already knows that it's a wig last thing you want is for it to look wiggy but because the holidays are coming up i decided that we're gonna wear wigs okay we gotta look good even though pandemic is still going on so i did the hair and i did my nails and i think i might even have a glass of wine Oh, my mirror is dirty. Anyways, I think I might even have a glass of wine. It's been a minute, and I think I deserve a glass of wine to wind down. I also made this wig last night, but let us please disregard the very rough shape that my um, mannequin head is in. So this is supposed to be my new bob wig. So I'm going to have to try it on. It, it's a little wet right now because I washed it today. I'm going to have to try it on and... um cut it into a bob this closure had bleach nuts so they're looking a little bit yellow so tomorrow i'm going to buy a hair dye this on here is literal mascara the ghetto so i'm gonna buy a hair dye and obviously this on the floor here is to catch the drippings because like i said i washed it and this is how i normally dry them so tomorrow i'm gonna buy a hair dye and then i'm gonna use my spoolie to go in and like dye the roots because this is how you fix an over bleached closure so we're gonna do that tomorrow evening but this hair is supposed to be my new bob wig i have what i was saying is i currently have 10 12 and 14 inch hair on there i started with the 10 in the back because obviously i'm gonna cut it into a bob and the back is gonna be very short so it makes sense to start with the shortest length in the back and then you know i did the 12 and the 14 on the top and i used a four by four closure now, I still have some more hair left. I had three bundles, but obviously I didn't use all three. I used um, a lot of the 10 inch and I doubled the tracks and I used most of, um, maybe like half of the 12 inch and like all of the 14 inch. But I feel like it looks a little thin still. So when I put it on and cut it, I'll see if I need to like fluff it up a little bit more by adding hair. And if I need to do that, then I will add some more hair because I feel like I'm very particular about my bob and obviously I didn't want to just buy a bob that was already made. I don't know why because that would have been so much easier. But but for the most part, that is really it for this video. This video is more of one of those chill day off type videos. I ate dinner and everything already. Um, But yeah, now I'm just chilling and watching TV and that's pretty much all that I have planned for the rest of the evening. So I'm going to wrap up this video here. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoy the video and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.